so embarrassing. It all started in high school. The track coach saw me doing the usual gym exercises and said, Lenny, I want you to try out for the track team. I thought, me? Woo! I never broke any records. I never got called to the Olympics. But I just love running just for the love of running. One down, 25 point two to go. Yeah! yeah! When smartphones came out, it was able to record your run and see where you went. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you're awesome! I thought, what if I began with the end in mind and made a shape drew it out and followed it precisely, and it worked. Thousands of people ran the San Francisco Marathon, some trained for it for months. But there's one guy who runs marathons through the streets of San Francisco every month, all by himself. Not just for fitness, but for art. That's it, keep going! Keep Meet going. Lenny Maughan. The walls of his apartment are lined with finisher's medals, including the latest one with a working cable car. But Lenny will tell you these aren't his proudest achievement. The latest one I did, Frida, Frida Kahlo. Lenny makes running art. For 53 months and counting, he's planned out these routes, painting pictures with his footsteps across the canvas of San Francisco. It's all connected. It's like an Etch-a-Sketch. It's one continuous line, always. For Lenny, it began as an experiment in the earliest days of workout apps. Here's a map of San Francisco, and I would uh, look at it. How many shapes do you see? What can you make out of this grid? His very first was a tribute to Leonard Nimoy, the actor who played Spock in Star Trek. Live long and prosper. In San Francisco, Market Street uh, runs diagonal to other streets here, so that made the V part pretty easy. I mapped it out, I ran it and pressed finish and whoa, there you go. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do this again. And he has every month. Chopsticks. With runs that crisscross the city. A profile of a stiletto shoe. And celebrate its culture. The travel clef just happens to run the entire length of Fillmore Street, a street known for its musical legacy. The routes begin on paper. And are you doing this with a map in your hands? Yeah, I'm, I'm holding a map. Dodging people and holding a map. And holding a map, it's fun. And the finished art winds up on Strava, the social workout app. Just share with my friends, but, but lately other people have been noticing. Indeed, the 29-mile portrait of Frida Kahlo just about broke the internet. It's gone viral for sure and took me by surprise. Like any masterpiece, the sketches for Frida were months in the making. She has a distinctive look. She has the earrings, the flowers in her hair, and of course the unibrow. and. Uh, so that made her a, a nice candidate for, for drawing. But the run itself had to be done in one shot, with some details added freehand. I decided just to run out and back on the pier. You put a little uh, curl of hair on the top of her head, is that what it was? Or it could be uh, a stem from one of the flowers that she wears in her hair. Lenny says he didn't realize he's part of a global phenomenon. I think that there are forms of Strava art dating all the way back to 2010. Whether through running, cycling, or even kayaking. This is... Darth Vader with the lightsaber. Oh, wow. There's a whole community of artists who paint pictures with their GPS tracks. This portrait of Luke and Yoda was literally a walk in the park in Brazil. Yoda's got, even got the little wrinkles on his forehead. Yeah, everything. From Star Wars to the African savanna. This is a giraffe. This artist is a cyclist in Canada. This giraffe has like a giraffe cowboy. In Japan, there's even a team that hands off a single phone from one runner to the next like a relay. They'll go out and they'll run more than 100 miles sometimes just in sequence a group of people in order to create a really intricate set of faces. But for Lenny, doing this all on his own is part of the fun. Not uh, look at what other people are doing so that I can be as original as possible. Mapping routes past iconic landmarks up steep hills. Sometimes I have to climb fences or walls because I, that's the only way to get from one point to the other to make the shape. Even adding subtle curves. To sculpt the shape I'm doing by going on the side of the street to make it wider or smoother. To put his footprint on Golden Gate Park or a TV on Telegraph Hill. Which is where uh, Mr. Farnsworth, who invented the television, lived. Taking in the sounds, the sights, and the smells of all the city's neighborhoods along the way. Yeah. What I love about running is I can go through Chinatown or North Beach or the Mission and feel like I've taken a vacation through several different cultures. Beer, give me beer! It doesn't have to be about uh, getting to the finish line as soon as possible. It's having fun along the way. <laughs>